Hey guys, I am Lindsay Zostra. I'm on the customer success team over at Tops. Today we're going to talk about the advantages of using templates, the different types of templates in Tops One, how to create a template using Word, and how to upload a template in Tops One. The advantages of using templates is it saves time by using the merge codes. It also um, inserts information into the letter to make them look like you individually prepared them. Templates can be used to create violation notices, check stock, invoices, statements, and pretty much any other forms of communication you can think of. Um, if you don't have templates already created, we do have several sample templates available in the TOPS marketplace, and that can be found at www.topsoft.com. You would select the product, which is TOPS 1, and that will take you to the marketplace. Different types of templates are letters. Those would be your CCNR letters. Um, you can also do architectural approval and disapprovals, annual meeting notices, new welcome letters, community takeover notice. You will obviously have invoice and statements, and then check templates. Requirements to use um, templates in TOPS 1 is you have to use the merge codes, and any letters from Pro or IQ have to be updated with those merge codes. Um, if you take a template and upload it, it will not format properly. You must have Microsoft 365 or Office 2013 or higher, and you must enable the TOPS merge code manager add-in, which we'll go over next. Um, you would open a Word document and you would go to the Insert tab and select the Git Add-in option. From there, you would have a search bar where you can search tops. Um, you would see our logo to make sure that you're using the right one. You would click Add, which would download the tops add-in. Under the Home tab in Word, click the Merge Code Manager option if it doesn't already pop up. You can log in here with your tops one credentials, or you can skip this step if you are not using the custom field merge codes. Once logged in, you can select the template type, which we went over, the CCNR letters, check, or statement. Next, you would select the category. This would allow you to filter the merge codes. It makes the list more manageable instead of searching through hundreds of merge codes. Once you find your merge code, you can double click on it in the merge code manager. That would insert the merge code right into your document. Um, after you insert all of the merge codes, your document would look like the example. It would have the double chevron and then the merge code, which obviously would be replaced with the text that you need it to be. There is no today's date merge code, man, uh, merge code sorry, um, in the merge code manager, so you have to use the today's date option in Word. And to do that, you would click on the insert menu in Word, select date and time, you would choose the format. There's several options available. You would select the Update Automatically box and select OK. It would appear like it's today's date, and any time you used it, it would insert the date like it needs to. Once you have your document created and saved, you would go into TOPS 1. You can go to the Admin menu, or you can also access the template library under the CCNR Activity menu item. Um, if you don't have admin access rights. You would click Add Template under the Action menu. From there, you would fill in the information that's requested. You want to make sure you choose the correct template type, whether it be the CCNR for violation letters, a check for in-house AP checks, or a letter if you were sending a message feature or if you were using a collection letter. And then statement if you're printing in-house statements. If you are updating a template that has already been in, uploaded into TOPS 1, you want to make sure that you use the exact same name. What that does is it replaces that existing template in the areas that you have it assigned. So you don't have to go in and update CCNR records when you have an updated letter. It does it automatically for you. And then the template delivery type, if you select email, that only respects the owner's communication preference. If you select email and certified mail, it would do a document as a PDF for you. And then you would select your file where you saved it onto your computer. And then 
you would hit upload. So for now, I'm going to go and show you how to edit a template, and then we're going to go through uploading the template and also how to assign the template. So here is a Word document. Um, I went ahead and did the merge codes, or updated the merge codes right here. I wanted to show you, like I said, they have the double chevrons, and then they have the codes, or the text for the merge code. So from here, I'm going to show you how to do the insert date option. You would highlight your text that you want to replace. You would go to insert, date and time, choose the format that you want on the letter, make sure the update automatically is checked, and then select OK. So it does show 6-13-2019. If you hover over it, it does turn gray, which shows you that there is a merge code working right there. Next, to do merge codes, I'm not going to show you the add-in just because I have it already um, added on to my computer, but you would click Merge Code Manager, which will bring up your Merge Code Manager. I'm going to hit Skip because I'm not going to use any custom field merge codes. If you wanted to log in, you can, and again, it's your top one credentials. Because this is a CCNR letter, I'm going to choose CCNR letter. And then the category for owner name mailing address is going to be owner activity codes. Oh, excuse me, owner account codes, oh, owner codes, third time's the charm. So you will go highlight the document of where you want to put the text. And then you would find your merge code. I like for owner name mailing address to do one merge code. It inserts the owner name and their mailing address instead of having to do multiple merge codes. You would then go through the rest of the letter and do the same thing. And all the way through. Um, I'm not gonna go ahead and do all of them right now just because I don't want you guys all to wait. Um, from here, you would hit File and then Save As. And you're going you're gonna to want to name it something, obviously, that you will know what it is in the future. So for this one, I'm going to go ahead and call it a courtesy notice. And then you would hit Save. You could also save it if you had a community-specific letter, because these are global. You could name it um, MMT for the abbreviation of that community. That would keep it organized in your library and also tell you that that was a community-specific document. From here, I'm going to go ahead and go to the CCNR activity, and you can get to the template library. Before I upload the template, I just wanted to point out that you can search right here to specify the type of letters instead of seeing them all. Um, this obviously helps you filter out the type of letter that you need to be looking for, that you're looking at. Um, and then also from here, if you needed to edit an existing um, template that's in the library, you would just hit the download button, which would download your template down here, and then you can open it in Word. And you would enable editing, make your changes like we did, save it, and then go upload it, which we're going to do right now. To upload a template, you would hit Action, Add Template, select your template type, which in that case it was a CCNR letter, and then you're going to want to name it. And choose the delivery type. And then you would go find your letter. I chose this letter because it's already a letter that is in my library. I wanted you to see when it pops up, it tells you that there's a duplicate, and do you want to go ahead and replace it? This is where you would select yes, and then upload your file. And that would replace that template in your library, and as I said before, it updates it for all of your CCNR records. 
So if you wanted to take a template and attach it to a CCNR, you would go again to CCNR, CCNR activity, and then CCNR codes. You can see we have some code set up. I'm going to go ahead into this test CCNR code and select edit. It's already set up. You would obviously put in your CCNR article from the um, documents. You would specify what you wanted them to fix on their violation. And then down here, you would type in what the letter is, how many days they had to correct it. And this I'm putting 15 because we have one already here. That first one will always be zero days because you obviously want it processed the day that you're processing it. If there's a fee involved, and then here you would find your letter. Um, and the one that I used was the continued violation. These are all of your CCNR letters that you have available. That's why it's very important to obviously choose that type when you're uploading the template. And then you would select Add, and you would select Save. And so that is how you attach a CCNR letter template for processing. I wanted to quickly show you also a way that you can do multiple letters. If you were doing a non-CCNR letter, let's say, for example, a welcome letter, you could go to the owner screen, which would list all of your owners for the community that you're in. You can select the people that you wanted to receive the letter. You would go to action, and then you could do send message. And from here, you could select print and the template that you wanted to use, which in this case would be the welcome letter. And you can preview your template, which will show you where the merge codes inserted the correct data. You can generate and review. Oh, I have to type the message in the subject and hold on one second. The letters are processing. If you hit the refresh button, you will see them all pop up right here on the right. And then you could simply hit print and print all of your welcome letters at once which obviously will save you lots of time if you had a lot of them to send. That's really all I had to show today for the templates and creating them in Word and assigning them.